Hey guys, what's up? It's Trigger Live, and this is episode uh, two of Welcome to Selkis. I've changed the name to Welcome to Selkis. It just rolls off the tongue easier. Um, and this is a Republic of Selkis headquarters. Uh, if you don't know, recently on Godcraft PvP was released, so that's player versus player, and uh, so you can fight each other with swords and stuff and loot. And uh, this is I kind of made this for people of Selkis, and we're gonna we're kind of an army that uh, fights. For Selkis, I guess. Um, this is the conference room I can call people to here and just be like, you know, today we're gonna rape the villagers and then they go rape the villagers. Um, over here we have the shooting range just to practice your archery skills. Up here we have the storage room for PvP items and um, a bit of crops so that we can have uh, wheat. A lot of this wheat was donated by um, Dark Jakey. And uh, thank you. He's donated a lot recently, and uh, that's that. We're gonna have we have a shared pot, so uh, whatever we find, unless it's rare, unless you find like well, lapis lazuli or whatever it is, I'm probably not gonna keep here um, because that's super rare. Um, this I'll probably take the woods away as well. That's actually mine. Um, and anything really rare, we'll probably I'll probably take out of this room. This is just the basics like weapons. Uh, dyes, uh, wool, feathers, meat, leather, all the basic stuff that, you know, we can, we're gonna split as an army, and, uh, that should help out a lot. Close that. Um, not much else is new, I mean, there's a couple other things, um, but, um, not a crazy update today, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go down here and just show you one little thing I've done. As you can see, a lot of these houses are starting to be filled in by people, um, this person actually bought two uh, areas and is uh, going to make it like a huge vault. Uh, this person also bought two areas, one here, one here, and then they connect and it's kind of a vault. Um, that's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> and But what I wanted to show you is over here, the one update I've made to uh, the room of contributors is now if you've donated enough, you get a gold bar behind your... Uh, name, which means you've donated a lot, and, uh, we thank you, <laughs> um, Emetire Land actually did do a lot, but he never donated anything, but he did help us out a lot, so, uh, thank you, Emetire Land, if you see this video, I don't even know if that's how you say your name, but, you know, thank you, um, and that is Monkey Balls, I believe, but, to home we go, um, this is working now, um, we have a monorail to Selkis, so if you want to come to Selkis, if you're on Godcraft, come on down to 8k east, Go to the third floor, go to the north end, I know it's like, it's like I'm telling you a story. And then, uh, you'll see, um, the Selkis monorail station. Um, so make sure you stand in front of this button when you click it. Otherwise, if you stand here and click it, you get teleported behind this wall. That's why I put that sign there, I couldn't fix it, so. I'm kind of a noob when it comes to this stuff. I even had a person help me set all this up, so. so as you can see, it works fine, it goes all the way to East K, I won't, East 8K, I won't show you that. But if you haven't joined Godcraft, I'd highly recommend it. I'm going to show you a couple more updates I've done. And, uh, yeah. If you, uh, if you, even if you have anything to donate to Selkis, that would really help us out. We're eventually going to redo all these walls with smooth stone. So, uh, you know, we do have quite a bit of smooth stone, but I'm pretty sure we're going to use it all up. And I love my new little <laughs> avatar <laughs> with his udders. Um, you're probably like, whoa, what, what the hell is going on here? Um, we finished all the roads on all four sides. So we have one going, uh, this way, which is, uh, e uh south, north, and then east and west. And then we, we have branching off ones that uh, you can use to get to houses. These are plots. So people can buy, buy these plots and then build houses on here. Um, I still haven't decided the price, and I still haven't decided the limit for going underground, because the undergarden's below here, so I need to figure out, figure that out. Um, and, yeah. So these, plot, these plots are the smallest. Uh, they get bigger. See, this one's bigger than the other one before it. And then this is the second biggest plot you can get in... Uh, Selkis, there's four of them. Um, one, two... Is there four? Three... Oh wait, two, four, six... Oh no, there's eight. Um, is that right? Yeah, there's eight. Um, so there's eight of these. These are the second biggest plots you can get, and then these are the biggest plots you can get. Um, this one goes from here to that far one, to that corner one, and then to this little jagged edge. Um, this is the biggest one you can get in Selkis, and it's probably, this one's definitely going to be the most expensive. As you can see, I don't know if I added this, had this last time, but we have fountains in here now with a little underwater torch area. 
And I don't know if we filled this in all last time, but this is pretty much all done. I'm now filling in that top compass area thing with uh, sandstone. Um, hello, monkey balls. One sec. And then <laughs> right here we have, uh, um, we're going to have this probably in either, I think, uh, I forget what it is, it's either, we're going to put either obsidian or sandstone here in the ground though, like actually in the grain, ground, and, uh, and then we're going to fill that with smooth stone, and put the smooth stone on the inside again here, and make, uh, balconies. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know there's not too much to update, but City's coming along pretty good. Um, if you're on Godcraft once again, we could really use the help. Even donations help a lot. And, uh, yeah, that's that. See you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, peace, guys.